Hey guys, so I just wanted to hop on and show you a little video on how to propagate string of turtles, whether they experienced root rot, um, you're cutting from the mother plant, or the roots just weren't established. I will be showing you unrooted, completely unrooted string of turtles and how I propagate them in damp sphagnum moss. So as you can see here, we have our unrooted cuttings. Um, if I flip these over, you can see that they're isn't any roots on any of these. Um, they did experience root rot, so I got them from a nursery. They were in a two inch pot and I overwatered them, so they got root rot. Maybe I should take my advice from my root rot video, <laughs> but these are all of our cuttings that we are gonna be propagating in sphagnum moss. They look good, other than the fact that they have no roots, so, but they need to have roots if I want them to be sustainable and grow into a luscious full pot. So I'm going to show you that. So this is the moss I'm going to be using. It's sphagnum moss. I think I ordered this off Amazon, so I'll include the link in the description. And it's a pretty decently large bag and it's really good for propagating. So what I'm going to be doing is soaking it in water and then putting it in here and then setting the propagations on top. So here we have my sink, and so I'm taking a handful of the moss, and we are gonna be soaking it in water. Sorry about my dirty sink. So that should be good. I have this paper towel here to grab all the moss so that it doesn't get in my drain, but we're just gonna be using this handful and what I'm doing is I am squeezing it out. So off camera, I did squeeze it off with both my hands, making sure all the moisture is out so there's nothing just lingering behind. And then what I'm gonna do is put it in here and I'm going to press it down so it fills the entire little Tupperware I have here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to take the cuttings and set them on top, making sure that the ends where the roots are gonna come out are a little um, pushed into the moss so that it has an area to grab onto to root. And I'm just going to be setting all of these in here wherever there's room. This one's a pretty large one. I'm gonna put that one right there, making sure that the roots are covered from the moss or with the moss. Put one right there. This little baby can go right there. And this, oh, there's another little baby. I am just making a mess. This one was right there. This large one can go there. And then this little baby can go up there. So I have them all in the moss. The area, the nodes where they're going to root are covered in the moss and I am just going to give it a little sprinkle of water. Again, sorry about my mess, so I'm just going to sprinkle it a little bit and there we have it. There's our cuttings in the sphagnum moss. Next thing I'm going to do is cover it in saran wrap. So what the saran wrap is gonna do is it's gonna retain the moisture. As you can see, it's already showing some condensation and it's gonna help the roots grow better, promote growth and keep it humid in here. So I'm just gonna leave it loosely on the side. Sometimes people poke holes on the top with a little toothpick that helps too to keep oxygen in there, but I'm just gonna loosely cover it so that air can still get in there. Last but not least, I'm going to take it over to my grow lights and find a place for it. So right now I have it stationed underneath here. It's kind of underneath my micans, but the grow light will help the roots grow. And I'll probably leave it there for like two weeks and check it then to see if any of the roots have popped out. So that is how I propagate string of turtles, or any string of things for that matter, in damp sphagnum moss. Um, again, this is just what's worked for me. You can try it out if you want. There are other methods. Um, 
it's not scientific fact. It's just, again, what's worked for me. So try it out if you like. Um, it should take about two weeks for roots to start popping up. I'll wait more so that they're more advanced. And then I will pot it up in soil. And hopefully I will be able to show you that in a few weeks. Thanks for watching.